Hello there, we apologize for that technical hitch and welcome back. So Tayo Dero was explaining to us on how he started off the company and we were at a point where you got fired via a text message on your phone. Yeah, um, I was fired with a text message that uh, now you should not report uh, to our gyms. And now uh, I ask myself, now I have passion in this and I've been enjoying d doing this. Why now should I take it now as a as a business. And now, I registered the company, uh, Authentic Fitness. I used to market it, but now you see, because it's fitness, <laughs> a number of people will not turn. <laughs> <laughs> they fear workouts and the stuff. Yes. So, um, my brother shared with me now, now you're doing fitness. Why don't you add adventure, adventure so that you can do fitness and adventure? And immediately that we changed the name Fitness and Adventure, people start coming and then ended up resigning where I used to work mm -hmm. and here I am today. All right, for someone who's watching this, all right, so for someone who's starting in fitness and is watching this, this conversation, what would be your advice to this particular person when it comes to maintaining, uh, for them to be committed in their, in their workout schedule and also consistency? It's the January. Everyone has resolutions. Everyone has body goals and all that. So what would be your take on that? Okay, my advice will be that, uh, first of all, approach uh, an instructor uh, who can help you in your journey. For instance, uh, when you come to our company, you need an instructor. First of all, we'll give you, we'll take your BMI. We know your BMI so that we can see where you, we, we place you for the start. We'll give you a questionnaire. You will uh, fill uh, in the questionnaire what you want to be, why you want to do the workout and the stuff. Whether you have uh, any other problem, uh, any other disease affecting you, you indicate there. Mm -hmm. So it'll be easy for an instructor to go through, uh, once he goes through the uh, questionnaire, mm -hmm. it'll be easy for him or her to work uh, to help you in, 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 the, in the activity. Oh, and for someone who has uh, been working out and uh, probably they're not in a gym setup, they're working out, working out from home, what would be your take on uh, different workouts for different body types? Because I believe there's something of the sort whereby if you're this particular uh, body type, there's this particular workout that you should do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's uh, sometimes give uh, free fitness workout uh, advices. And sometimes we do sell them. Okay. So when somebody has uh, contacted us, it would be easy for us now to, okay, um, so and so, I need to work out for this one, specifically for the biceps. Mm -hmm. So we'll be, we'll be able to share with you the document for the biceps. So you'll be able to work out at home. All right. Yeah. Okay, so what problem are you solving in the market when it comes to uh, this particular business? We are solving a lot of problems. First of all, uh, a number of people have been dying just because of the simple thing. Because maybe you're not uh, working out and the stuff. And again, fitness is one way of, uh, you can, it can help reduce other diseases. That's one, we reduce diseases. Two, uh, now in uh, cooperation of uh, adventure. Now adventure makes you to get out of your comfort zone. You are not just there. I believe even here at, at workplace, you work here, uh, my friends here at the camera, the other guys at the gallery, and the transmissions. Maybe you don't, you don't get time to meet, interact, and um, a sort of stuff. We also do team buildings, whereby a company like this, you go outside somewhere, let, let's say Naivasha, we do team building for you, you guys interact, you know each other uh, here. Mm -hmm. So let's look at uh, the different packages that the company uh, offers when it comes to fitness and adventure. Yeah, fitness adventure um, is, is broad. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, hiking, uh, we have saf uh, private safari, hotel booking, ticketing, uh, transfers, just as I mentioned earlier. So um, when you want to travel with us, as now authentic fitness adventure. And the reason as why we incorporated fitness adventure is that we make sure that you, who might feel like uh, I can't just do fitness, but I can do adventure, it gives you an easy time to, uh, to work out. When you travel for us, for instance, we're going for um, 
road trip to Namanga. Of course, Namanga, there's a, a hill called Londonio Rock. Before now, we climb that hill. Eh? Mm -hmm. First of all, we'll check your BMI to tell us is this person capable of climbing Mount Aldonio Rock? If yes, good. Now, number two, we'll have to now do a kind of a team building, short team building session and comprise of uh, Zumba dance, uh, jogging and the stuff. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a psyche even to hike. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, yeah. here is the clients, uh, your clients interest at heart, which is very quite important, especially when it comes to fitness. You like to feel like your, your, your interests, what I am looking for to achieve is put in consideration. Okay, so let's look at how do you decide on the right price when it comes to your packages for the sake of people who want to get into this sort of kind of a business? Um, of course, now for any business, you aim is to make profit. Absolutely. But of course, there are so many ways to kill a rat. You can make your uh, package uh, in a short form or rather in a manner that somebody, uh, anybody can, can be able to book and travel with you. For instance, um, mm -hmm. on 31st, we're doing the Kerita Forest zip line. Okay. And of course, now zip line, a number of people fear heights. Know that everybody will want to go to Kerita uh, just to do zip line. So we are charging 1500. You'll ask yourself like how much is this guy earning from 1500? The 1500 we are charging, you're not charging for the activities. We are giving you a room where you're going to pay for your own activity. Our main aim is to take you to Kerita Forest, pay for your entrance fee, pay for your guide fee, uh, pay for your photography, pay for your team building fee. And now it's upon you. I'm in Kerita Forest. Now I fear height. I can't do, height. I can't do zip line. Let me do cycling. Let me do paintball. So that's the first package. There's another package whereby is a family package. Maybe your family, you want to travel to, let's say, Dubai. Of course, Dubai, you can't go to uh, Dubai with less than 10,000. Mm -hmm. That must be even another added um, uh, price. Uh, there's also now, uh, maybe you want to go to Mombasa, just for a family package. We also have such packages. So we try to at least accommodate everyone. I believe uh, everybody can, I believe you can get 1,500 to travel with us. I believe there's a person who can get 10,000 to travel with us. So we always make sure that each and every month, at least in our trips, they are mixed up. There's this percentage of money that somebody can afford. And our main aim is to make everybody to travel. Yes. Okay, so what are the key resources when it comes to uh, to running these particular trips? Because uh, uh, 31st we're headed to Kerita, the next one probably to be in a different location. So what are the key resources when, you come, when it comes to running these particular trips if I want to get into this business? Yeah, if you want, if you want to get to this business, first of all, uh, be yourself. Don't copy another person. Be yourself know your target market, know what you want. Uh, what we'll need, first of all, you need logistic. How will you now take your clients to the destination that you uh, earlier advertise? Of course, you need tour costers. If you don't have tour costers, you can outsource. That's, that's what you're talking about, car rentals. We have some in the company, we do outsource. That's one. Two, you'll need to know more information of the destination you're going. Don't just advertise a destination that you know. Please do uh, go to the, uh, how do they call it? They call it recon. The people who studied uh, uh, geography, they said uh, you go a place before now. Uh, before yeah, they actually. Uh, Previsit pre for, for yes. the layman's language now. Go to that place. Know the corners of that place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> know that uh, my clients will take lunch at this point they'll have to enjoy activity at this point, at this point, so that you have a view of where you are going. You'll find a person just because Ty is advertising a trip to Kerita and is charging 1500, let me charge 1500 and go to Kerita. It, this happened to a case where by a colleague of mine, who was a starter, saw a poster that was advertising uh, less than a thousand and decided to say, okay, if this guy is advertising at a thousand, let me advertise it at 1500 and I'll be <laughs> getting a profit. Wow. Forgetting that uh, I did not indicate the activities. He already indicated ah. all the activities. So you'll reach there. You've never been there. You don't know anybody there. 
you don't know the management there and you have your clients oh. so you are there stranded of course whatever you advertise in your poster is what the clients will need if you say that i'll advertise uh, i'll give you water if mm. you don't give water these people will question you Yes. So, first of all, be yourself. That's how you ruin your credibility. Yes. Mm. Okay. So, let's look at your market. What is your unique uh, selling point, and who is your ideal customer? Uh, my ideal customer is you and me. Okay. First of all, I always tell uh, my employees in the office, "You are my first clients. The moment that you guys are okay, I believe my clients are okay. Mm -hmm. That's one." Two, um, my uh, market, uh, you're seeing my market, my, my, my you, main market. Yes, your, your market, in terms of your, look at your market, what is your unique selling point? Yes, yes. my unique selling point is my phone here via WhatsApp. Um, I always have uh, the WhatsApp status, I always have around 15 to 2,000 viewers on a 24-hour status. Now this gives me a very good platform to market and uh, to, to market and to run my company, because all these uh, 15, 15 to 2,000 contacts they are one-on-one -on -one conversation. I always contact each and every person on a daily basis, or rather, before a week ends, at least we interact with the number. Mm -hmm. Another selling point is uh, through referrals. The moment that you play your cards well, you perform well. People will come. A friend will say, okay, I travel with this company, please try them. And that's how you get clients. All right. So take us through how do you keep up with the new trends. Because new places are opening up. Uh, like from, from weeks, months, new places are just opening up. How do you keep, keep up with the trends and tap into these opportunities uh, with your customers being in mind? Now, um, every week uh, we have assigned uh, three days a week. We fill the car road trip to go hunt for destination so once you go to a new destination of new space new places because uh, new places keep on opening up uh, in the aspect of uh, tapping into these opportunities having you know your clients in mind yeah uh, we we always uh, do a road trip uh, then now the company road trip now the, not the clients road trip whereby we fuel a vehicle uh, thrice a week, we go into destination hunt. We look for new destinations that are coming in. We sign a deal with the management. Then we'll be able to sell to our clients what we know. So basically that's the only way that we hunt our destination. Uh, speaking yes. about uh, striking deals with the management from different locations of these places, how important is it to learn about negotiation skills? Yeah, it's good, of course. Now, for it, especially in this business of train travel, is this business you are you should have this one. Your mouth should be mm -hmm. good, yeah, because now there are other places that the management will not even allow to give a discount, but they need you to give them a client. There are places that management are very easy. You just convince them, you talk. But now you see, for two operators, of course, now we go into business. I cannot get you uh, 30 clients. And then you say, I can't get a discount for, for these clients. So, of course, uh, we'll always go for that company that will be able to give us a discount. Yeah. All right. What couple of challenges that you're facing as a business? We are facing a lot of challenges. One of them is being that, uh, and this happened to each and every two operator outside there. Uh, there are this group of clients that will cancel their trip on travel day. He already booked for everything to them. <laughs> he already uh, booked their meals where they are going to take their meals at lunch. If maybe the entrance fee you've already paid in advance, mm -hmm. and then you receive a call in the morning that, sorry, um, I'll not make it today. That's one. Two. Uh, currently, this pandemic of COVID-19 has affected all two operators across, across the world. And of course now, we used to carry, in Acosta, we used to carry um, 22, the 22 seat Acosta. Currently, we are carrying 15. The Costa guys, they have not reduced their price. If they are charging 20,000 Naivasha, they still charge 20,000. Those are some of the challenges we go through. Mm -hmm. Another challenge that... Uh, uh, 
clients they are always right and maybe the matter the matter you 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 do your package well or rather you you you, you perform well there are those who still come that oh i will not satisfy you say no you'll provide uh, these you provide it but i think next time if you could put it this way uh, yeah, so those are some of the challenges we go through as two operators. No, and the first challenge which is whereby you have already booked everything and the client decides a uh, problem, emergency, or any sort of situation decide to cancel. What is the policy, company's policy when it comes to refund? We have a company uh, policy of uh, five days, cancellation five days before traveling day. Mm -hmm. So if you give me a call in the morning that you're not coming, uh, sometimes you see we always allow, because now we want everybody to travel. We always allow uh, people to uh, just book. Mm. A client can book. If you're charging uh, 20,000, you can allow a client to book uh, with 10,000, then clear on travel day. Mm -hmm. So that travel day is when you receive a call that I'm not coming. And of course, now you've already budgeted for her. So it makes things uh, difficult on our side. Right. And what are the, uh, the future plans when it comes to the company? Yeah, we uh, we... Of course, now each and every company, uh, you have your plans. Mm -hmm. We, in some years uh, coming, let's say five years, we want to open branches across uh, uh, each and every town in the whole, in the whole uh, country. Mm -hmm. So that if you talk of authentic, there's authentic in your village. Mm -hmm. There's authentic in my village, there's authentic in somebody's village. I like that idea, especially considering that in these villages there's so much of beautiful sceneries yes. that we can explore. Yeah, sure. And again, uh, these are, of course, now not about authentic, but now about uh, the company. We, we are we're an organization called County Discoveries, mm -hmm. a group of around six. We always visit different uh, counties to uh, hunt for destination, talk to the management of the county, and allow other two operators to come. Okay. venture in the county and at least to make a county to be known as a destination of choice. We did that last month at uh, Embu. Mm -hmm. I believe we hosted uh, CS uh, yes. Dr. Joan here. Yes. Uh, the land of opportunities. The land of opportunity. <laughs> Actually we, we were the one who started the project and mm -hmm. we are glad that the project has picked uh, very well. Uh, yes. So how can people find you across all social media handles if they want to reach out to you? If you want to reach us uh, uh, you can find us through uh, our contact number 0720 731957 mm -hmm. or email us info at authentic uh, website www.authenticfitnessadventure.com uh, Facebook authentic fitness and adventure Instagram authentic underscore fitness underscore adventure then on Instagram at authentic fitness adventure Thank you very much, Tai Odero, for creating time to be with us and having this conversation uh, about uh, fitness and adventure. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. So that is Tai Odero, CEO of Authentic Fitness and Adventure. All you have to do is reach out to them if you want to be part of, uh, or, or just be part of this amazing experience that they have to offer so head on to their social media handles and you can reach out to them and from there it's uh you know just having an amazing time and uh, if you're looking forward to losing weight adding whatever you just reach out to them and they got you so head on to our facebook page we have a question for you and we're asking you are you guys still working from home should you still be working uh from home our hashtag to use is hashtag entrepreneurship tuesday hashtag why in the morning you can reach out to me across all my social handle that is at michelle ashira so this is what you guys had to say we have emma and james saying good morning good morning guys requesting uh do, oh, 2020, 2020 by Justina Sekimao 001 and say tuned in. Thank you very much. So our DJ will, will have to look into that. I'm so sure we'll play it. Tomorrow is on uh, Wednesday. Probably tomorrow. Um, I don't know. So we have Emma and Jim saying, I hope now people have seen how home working is possible. Employers will make uh, more allowances in future. Uh, disabled people have historically struggled for years to get employment in jobs. They were told 
couldn't uh, possibly be uh, couldn't be possibly uh, be done flexibly so as an introvert person working from home is very beneficial for me I finish all my tasks days before deadline uh, then we have in the office I have to slow down because I will run out of stuff to do and wait for something to happen thank you very much Emma and James then we have uh, l another one is lives are back to normal people and businessmen stroke women like like never before so I don't think there's any organization which allows their workers stroke employees to work at home Corona or no corona, maisha bado inendelea kama kawaida. No excuses. All right, then there's another one coming from um, uh, from MCA head boy. So just saying, tuned in out of Nkutika Chuka. Thank you very much. Then you have Masinde Kutoka Vumilia saying, I'm watching. Thank you very much. Then we have another one from uh, producer Magustu. Babu saying 001. Thank you. We have... Watching from Karatina, Charles Kafu. Thank you very much. Then we have Noah Kibe saying Juju Murera Ndaracha, well represented. Thank you very much. Then we have Newton Newt, Liwai saying Mijengo, guys, how can we work from home? Yeah, good question right there. Thank you very much, Newton News. Then we have Victor Masiaya saying watching the show from um, Alegayo, Siaya County. Thank you very much. Then we have Masinde Kutoka Bumilia saying I'm watching. Then we have MCA head boy saying tuned in out on okay Nkuti Kachuka. Thank you very much. Uh, so many. Thank you very much, guys, for sending in all of your comments on uh, the question of the day. Make sure you stay tuned. We have so much coming your way right here on Y254 channel. Create time next Tuesday. Time frame is 7 till 10, uh, 10 a.m. More on entrepreneurship Tuesday, learn one or two, three things when it comes to business at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. Till next Tuesday, enjoy the rest of your viewing. Uh, have a nice day.